Hey, orange one here. So we got our little uh, group here that we've been using to fight grass pirates mostly. Um, we got kind of beat up in the last episode, but we came out on top of it. It looks like we got a group here that is going to probably cause us some troubles here. That one hobbling. Yeah, it looks like that one was hobbling. I don't know why. Blake, you want to get in there? You can't really use your right arm, unfortunately, right now, but I think that that's okay because we're probably gonna need to heal you up anyways in a little bit. So we're just gonna hide and let these guys heal their ombres and let this wound get worse. <laughs> Basically. Russ, go hide in the sand. And yeah, that is Kenshi. So if you want to join this w group of winners here, <laughs> little plug, um, join my patron or uh, the YouTube members, either or, you know, just kind of like trying to do something a little bit different than what I did with the last one, which was um, I just had like anyone was uh, joining just by putting comments in the video, which was fun, and I might do something kind of like that again in the future, but um, yeah, I wanted to try doing a smaller squad size, and I thought a fun way of doing that would be this. It looks like we're getting bone dogs wandering around because we got a couple bodies here, which is great because as they come in, we can eat their meat. Um, and then Blake, I don't know if I really want to be fighting these guys or not. Let's kind of get you and uh, a soft to the side here. We'll feed on your own throat. Feed you your own throat. Okay, cool. Good job. Um, sounds scary. <laughs> I'm gonna try and get Blake kind of out of this scenario because this doesn't seem like a, a winning scenario for us right now. Uh, we have this arm, which is definitely something I want to come off, but might not behoove us to go charging in with only one stomach. I feel like that's what's gonna make us go down more than anything else, you know? And they just keep on seeming to want to go after Blake's direction. We are, it looks like, kind of an okay here. His bone dogs, I think, are, yeah. Gonna cause us a little bit of a problem. Not too bad. I don't think. They're just walking around, doing their thing. Hey guys, we can, uh, Everything. Oops, sorry. Cool. Yeah, you can get healed. And Russ is actually okay. You guys are actually okay. So I'm actually gonna set up our three beds there. And do that. Unfortunately, Blake is not gonna be going to bed just quite yet. But you guys can. And then we can we can start to heal up a little bit while this this arm hopefully gets worse. <laughs> I know that sounds weird. And also with these bodies, there's gonna be some an like animals that come by. Look, a sand ninja Jonin. That's a really tough enemy. It could do some damage. Leaveless dust coat. I think you wanna see if the sand ninja wants to attack you. Or yeah, that's what I thought. I don't know what's gonna Oops. hold on. Alright, we're gonna see what how much we can record. I got a little bit of time uh, before I'm gonna have to stop, but Oh no! They're attacking us. All right, well, um, goal, press, go two different directions, see which one he ends up following. Yeah, this goal. You're, you're the one who loses here. 
Sorry. You tried. <laughs> okay. Do the actual bit of combat with this dude. He's a fair amount better than us, but like actually not that that much better than us. So it's actually okay. In the grand scheme of things. Uh you get back to Blake, honestly. Just get away from him. Oh, we got it attacking. Nice. Oh no. He's like on a mission. Got like that that sixth sense. Oh man. I'm good. Is that is that just a dead bone dog? I'm getting near that. Let's get some meat if we're gonna die. Well actually, do you have to die? How fast is this guy? You might not have to die. Russ, you might be able to run him out of this. We get away. What's this a camp bed? Or who? Bone dogs, dead bone dogs. Cool. I think you can outrun this dude. There's skimmers around though. Maybe you can run them into the skimmer. Ah. Hurting. Why aren't you fighting the skimmer and the bone dog? Dang it. Ah. over here. Let's attack this. Oh man. Come on. Attack it. No. Attack the other guy. Oh no. There we go. It's attacking him. <laughs> I don't know that's going to make much of a difference to be honest. Oh actually it's, it's kind of messing him up a little bit. I don't think it's gonna win. I don't think that that's realistic of me to expect. Okay, well your arm is worse, technically. Definitely worse, technically. Uh, where were the beds? There. Okay, why don't we go near the beds so we don't lose those? We can build our third bed as well. Well, why don't you go ahead heal yourself up and then rest rest what's going on here take that here oh wait what the jonin's here still what you gotta be kidding me man i thought you were out of here there's dead skimmers and bone dogs. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Get him, bone of a bone dog. Look at that Jonin. Oh, he's almost down, actually. He might go down eventually. See, all the poachers that are appearing in the desert are helping us, ultimately. Because they bring more food to us. <laughs> Weirdly enough. Oh, are those... Those are manhunters. We gotta be careful. Oh, did they get... They got the Jonin. They took the Jonin prisoner. Oh my gosh. What a sad end for such a distinguished individual. They've got their katanas too. Look at that. That's... That is uh, actually... is almost upsetting. Besides, you know, the fact that that guy, like... Almost killed us. That's that fact. With this right arm, we're not going to be doing much healing anyways. Just kind of wait this out, I think. And I think we'll just wait for Russ to be okay. You know, if somebody actually freed the Jonin, the Jonin might actually try and fight their way out. This Blood Raiders. Oh my gosh, Blood Raiders could actually possibly kill these guys. These Manhunters are pathetically weak. Like little babies. 
blood raiders, man. We got blood raiders around us. We gotta be careful. <laughs> There's animals, blood raiders, all kinds of exciting things. Don't want skull healing us is the problem. Don't want to be too close. This I think is this is definitely gonna work out. I'm almost positive it's gonna work out. And then with these guys killing each other over here, there's even more dead bodies. <laughs> yeah, right, more critters. We're at negative seventy-one. That's pretty good. Oh, actually, we want to do a little first aid on that t that stomach. That's fine. That's good. Yeah, the wolf den's been wiped out, apparently. Are you doing? Yeah, you're repairing your leg. That's fine. And then you can, once that leg is repaired, you can make your way over. Are you still? No, you're not. Okay. You come over far side, though. And then make your way over here. Negative 75. What have we got going on? Ooh, it's 1v1, man. Oh, man, his left leg. If he gets them in the left leg, it could be that could be it. That is that. I should have been watching this fight, man. Oh, the Manhunters seem to be getting back up. Did they win? If they win, they're gonna have a pretty good bounty of people there. I'll be quite happy with that, I'm sure. Yeah, I would like to do the robotics repairing that we need to on those legs, but... Like, why don't you just come over here just for a minute? Let Russ can get to his bed. Get healed up. Yeah, you can live off the land. It's like, you know, people think that Kenshi is like... I honestly thought you needed kind of a base or cities to really survive, but you can actually, at least with this mod enabled, survive off the land relatively okay. Okay, can we also have you both sneak in? Cool. Just want to make sure I know if anybody's running up on me. Let's see if we can get this limb taken out before I gotta go. Because I gotta go pretty soon. Okay. Uh, who, who won in the end? Uh oh. Really? They got you? Oh man. These guys are really beat up though. If we ended up fighting them ourselves, I think we'd be okay. Especially if Blake can lose his arm. Not so sure in our current state, but yeah, watch how this play out. Yeah, they're really encumbered too. They gotta be really messed up because they're carrying too much stuff. Get away from them. Oh, Blake, no. Oh, man. I think we're okay, but maybe not. We might want to get out of here. These are actually sand ninjas. Okay. They're not actually slavers. Okay, good. Blake, why don't you just, like, hide right here? Yeah, this is actually a perfect little spot. Because then you can be out of view, for the most part. Um, is that bone dog attacking you? Oh, great. Well, if they get you in the arm, then the arm might just come off. No, they just leave you unconscious. I don't want him getting enslaved is the thing. Uh, Russ is getting hungry. Don't we have we have raw meat, so if we get to that point, we can actually eat that. Our poor glutton, though. Look kind of bad for him. Russ, see if you can take care of. Uh, not actually take care of him. Just guard. You can stay here. You can watch. Actually, no. Come back to your bed.
better. He'll he'll be fine. He's like back up. Yeah. And he's playing dead, which is perfect. He's hidden and he's playing dead. This is just gonna come off any minute now. Any minute now. <laughs> and then we'll have a fully cybernetic heavy hitter. Dude, if we can get another like masterwork industrial arm. Gosh, we'll be in a really good spot. He's at negative two dips now on the bleeding. Okay, that's that means that he's pretty much gonna lose it any minute now. You can make your way back to the camp. There's meat. Gotta take it. We need it actually. And there goes that. We had a spare right arm, didn't we? I have a spare right. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, well. We're down our heavy hitter. That's not good. Let's get him to safety then. Get him a nice robotic arm. Stop that bleeding. Fill this up. I'll be able to do like a little bit of pathetic martial arts. Just honestly, if we can get the robotic legs all working, then we should just dismantle these. And we'll pick that up. That up. That up. Then we can head out. Oh, you can't pick that up? Yeah, you can. Yeah, yes. There we go. Okay. So, we want to get back to the Black Desert City, honestly. Uh, but we want to maybe... I mean, we could... Yeah. We could probably... With the stuff that we've got, get something decent there. Let's just head out with everyone. There's that dead bone dog, though. Was there another dead bone dog? There. Yeah. Sorry, my greed is getting the better of me. And our hunger. There's also that. Are they they load them. I think they did. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Oh, those are all actually full. That was, that one was fully loaded. Cool. And we'll just a few more. Bull is the glutton, so I think he's gonna grab the food. And yes. All right, so got our food. Pretty good shape. Run through there. I think we're actually very quick to our speed right now. Twelve. Even with a broken arm, going twelve. That's pretty good. Twenty-three and fourteen. But we could be even faster if we weren't carrying all of this loot, huh? That's okay. We'll get into this territory and we'll be fine. Like even twelve is is pretty quick. It's quick enough to outrun a lot of enemies. Especially when you can recognize like that's nomads, we're fine. I'm feeling like proficient enough in combat with Skull and Rust that we could do basic fighting if we needed to. And we've got enough HP to get into the Black Desert. Fine. So we have our hat. Where's our hat? Yeah. And that's that. Acid. 
I don't see any hat on you. Did we get rid of it? Looks like we might have gotten rid of it. Okay. Well, we're fine. We're okay. We'll, we'll survive. We just need to get a proper right arm for our guy now. <laughs> uh, we've taken it this far. Okay. I'm going. Take me there. Yeah. And the thing is, is that the good thing about getting that food there that we did there is that it's going to keep our hunger up. Which should make us A. Have better encumbrance and B. Travel faster. And just like in general. It just helps with everything. Oh, it's acid rain. Not acid rain right now. What are you going on about? I don't know why that would slow you down. And it is acid rain, but why would that slow you down? It should make you run faster, right? Okay, cool. We are pretty much there. And what? Something weird is happening there. Okay. And all, all three of my people, I can see, are here. Oh, Mouse. And Bill. Okay. Uh, I guess everyone attack that. Uh, Blake. Maybe you don't, though. You can get in here. And we're gonna need the, the stuff that's on other people to buy his stuff, though, unfortunately, so I don't know what my plan is here. Okay, Russ, are you gonna attack or what? Uh. Mouse, maybe not the best time. The best angle there. I mean, we're actually doing a decent amount of damage to it, actually. This is good. Because maybe. Oh, no, Rust is, is. Arm isn't getting hit. Okay. People are good. Yay. He survived. <laughs> good. Uh, Blake. Let's go ahead and just start giving this guy the junk that we have and see what he's willing to give us for it. Yeah, we don't need that now at this point because we could probably get something better. And that's most of what we have on us right now. And that's 29. That's not ideal. But we should be able to get a right arm at least to do for now. And KLR is pretty good. That's a specialist KLR. And we could get a, a really... That would make us faster with our left. But we want a right arm. Just take a second to just look at this. Uh, it gives a lot more dexterity. That's a really good one for making us swing faster. We can get a kale or the industrial left though we really should because then we can get even more strength with them yeah let's do that oh no that's the wrong oh no okay hold on did i just get my money back i don't think i did did i I think we just spent some money by mistake there. That's annoying. We need a right arm. Maybe we can get that right. That's what we want. There we go. That's pretty good. And you can get repaired. And so we got a nice, strong arm for you, which we can also switch out for another right arm. And this is actually even stronger, honestly. Give that to Blake, actually. Cool. I 
he's our heavy hitter is going to be hitting consistently with that. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, you know, all things all things considered, pretty good. Kind of hurt though. Our characters could probably heal up in in their bar. Not got any food for us, but we have food for now. I think we just need to rent some beds. Get out of acid rain a little bit. Good times. And I'm I'm not sure how much longer I've got. Truth be told, we'll see. It's also really cheap these beds, so it's like whatever. What do you say? Do you think we should go? Head back to shock territory. I kind of think that we should. We could um, harass the Holy Nation a little bit along the way. <laughs> We'd also like to guess a little bed set up somewhere. You know, we could set up a little base in here. It's just like a little repair station. Yeah, I might do that. Right. Things do I need for a small shack? Five building materials. Um, I don't think they have building materials here, do they? If the labs sometimes, no, the labs don't have those things, do they? I feel like they do. I could be misremembering that. The Hivers also have very cheap repairs if you get to a Hive village, you know. I just was hoping that we could maybe have a little recharging station somewhere that's remote enough for us to not have to pay taxes and just leave it. And then we can just go visit it to repair our busted up limbs as they get, you know, severely messed up like that left arm of ours there. <laughs> they actually all are kind of and pretty banged up. Okay. Yeah, I think we want to go west and get to over there. See what we can do. And if we need another right arm, we're, we're, we can go up to Mongrel, possibly. Mongrel's got really good stuff. That'll be close. I just kind of want to see Blake smash more people. Maybe we find Orange One in the <laughs> in the kingdom to recruit a prisoner. Yeah, maybe we, I think we probably want to level up from low level, kind of like we did with these guys. I mean, that's that's pretty good thirty skill, you know. Bill's even with us. Okay. So I think we want to go to Inner's Room as a team. Um, hold on. Yeah, we're going as a team, everyone. Uh, that gives some acid protection, so that's kind of good that we're wearing that. Kind of nice. Did I get rid of my metal armor as well? I think we did. <laughs> Maybe we can switch that with Russ. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, hold on, team. I saw what you were about to do there. I do not like it. I do not appreciate that. You know, Blake actually, maybe Russ can get involved here a little bit. He hits so hard, man, that like one hit almost like incapacitates it, you know? If it like hits the, the right body part, he would totally. One, hit the arm. Yeah. Well, we gave it a chance. You guys don't have to hold, actually. You can just heal each other up a little bit. Fine. 
Good times. All right, let's keep on getting out of here. It is acid rain. I don't think I need to remind you. <laughs> so with the trench coat and one of the hats, I think you'd probably be just fine going in there. When it didn't bother you that much. Okay, so we're through the worst of it. Good. Okay. Um. The holy outpost slash kind of along the road. I think. Fight whoever we need to. Hopefully, hungry bandits don't eat our animals. They protect the animals. Always a, a struggle with this game. Okay, I think that over past the half an hour mark, so I'm gonna end this here. Thank you for joining me. Then, orange one.